So in this video, I'm going to talk about um, something we haven't seen yet is playing a bit with CSS. So if you remember, if you paid attention to the tutorial, you can see that in the container, it's an object where you can put other object. So you can use a container to think about it like the bootstrap grids. So you can have grids, you can, and of course it's 12, so it's really like bootstrap and you can uh, arrange, basically you can do some layout with that. So if you paid attention, you would have seen that you can have a CSS, CSS class here. So the way it's working is not very intuitive. So I'm going to explain to you how it's working. So this is here, you have to put the name of a CSS class that is loaded in the system. So in order to do that, one way is, for example, if I want, let's say I want a red border here for this container. So the way it's working is I need to create or to add my CSS class somewhere uh, in the CSS. So here, if you remember, I've got get date.css, which was um, for the view component get date. So I will need to do pretty much the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm because I'm lazy, I'm going to just copy it. Custom classes, CSS. And I will just do like container red border. So, and the border will be solid red one pixel. And so, since you created a container, so you need to be very careful about the naming because it can collide with um, other styles. So maybe a good idea would be something like com example library container red border, whatever. So let's uh, then once you create your CSS file, you need to declare it as we saw earlier in this file, so partials slash uh, custom classes. So without underscore and without the CSS, without the extension, do the same thing in this file. You save it. And um, now at this point, grant is not going to help you because you only grant of the application. We are not granting um, Innovation Studio. So we could try something. So let's say I want to get my class name, which is this one. I'm going to use it and the style. I'm, going, I'm just going to paste it, type enter, and it should be saved here. So you have you don't have any typo. You should type come here. You won't have anything. So you really need to copy paste basically the name of your style. So here it's done. So let's see if we have anything. And here you can see that you don't have anything. So let's try to add a field. So here, uh, because I am not in the right view, so well. So it was in confirm view. So actually you see that it's working. So what happened is Grant uh, crunched the CSS. You created custom classes and it put it inside uh, your Grant window here. So now you can see that uh, uh, your container has a red border. So let's see if I want to change it to actually uh, green I save so the thing is when you change the CSS a grant will not reload your view it just will try to apply your CSS so here is a small trick uh, if you want to apply some styles to your um, container so here it's very simple but of course you could put a background picture inside of this or background color uh, 
background color. Let's put something very ugly. It's perfect. So uh, this is the kind of thing you can do. Um, so this way you can do some kind of skinning. So in theory, what you could do also is overwrite or override some styles that are existing for the buttons and everything in something we don't really recommend uh, because it will impact on not only you but everyone on the system so just create your own styles and use them with being being careful 